It's easy to see alcohol and other drugs as a normal part of life, and we get the appeal. They can be fun, and in some situations they can give us a sense of confidence or a mood boost. But here's the thing. Once the party's over, the after effects can hit pretty hard, especially if alcohol and other drugs are playing a big part in our lives. Using alcohol and other drugs can impact our motivation in many areas of life, like at work or school. We may even find ourselves having less motivation for things we usually love to do. They can also affect our ability to get good quality sleep. Substances like alcohol, MDMA, amphetamines, cocaine and cannabis disrupt a healthy sleep cycle and overuse can lead to insomnia. And while some people drink alcohol or take other drugs to feel comfortable at social events, the hangover or come down often brings increased anxiety and irritability. After taking certain drugs like MDMA and amphetamine type stimulants, you might feel pretty low or flat. If any of this rings a bell for you, it could be worth taking a look at how much you're leaning on alcohol or other substances. Here are some helpful tips if you're considering cutting back. One, reflect. How are drugs or alcohol impacting your life? What are the pros and cons of reducing versus not reducing your consumption? Two, track your usage. This can include what you're using, how much, when, where, and who with. Three, set goals. These can be small goals like allocating some alcohol-free days per week. Four, know that it's okay to say no. It's okay to be assertive with friends when you feel peer pressured. Five, start slow. Take a short break to reset. Over time, you can build up to longer breaks or even quit entirely. Six, be patient. It might take a few days or longer before you see positive changes. Seven, look after yourself. It's normal to feel a bit different when you first cut back. So eat well, move your body and spend time with people you care about. Eight, find other activities. Make plans with friends away from parties, pubs and bars and don't keep alcohol or other drugs within easy reach. Instead, you could try new hobbies, getting active or going out in nature. Nine, take a moment to think before you act. When you feel the urge to drink alcohol or take drugs, pause and decide to choose differently. This generally gets easier each time you try. It can also help to practice some simple mindfulness techniques like reconnecting with your five senses and the present moment, making room for the discomfort of an urge and remembering that this is a temporary experience. Most importantly, don't give up on your plan. It can be helpful to come back to your why. After all, it's worth persevering when there are so many benefits of cutting back, like better mood, motivation, focus, sleep, energy levels, relationships, and becoming more engaged with work, study, or your hobbies. We get that some people may not be ready to reduce their use of alcohol and other drugs. Still, it might be worth tracking how it affects your mood, sleep, and anxiety levels. Whether you're cutting back or quitting, it's normal to have temporary setbacks. Slips can be a learning opportunity. It's a journey and you should feel proud of your effort. If you're a young person aged 12 to 25 looking for free support with reducing alcohol and other drugs, visit eHeadspace or get in touch with your local Headspace Centre. You can also call the National Alcohol and Other Drug Hotline or find more helpful resources at headspace.org.au.